We came into office 2007, and as of 2009 going to 2010, I saw the politics internally. And then I called my friends, look, I don't think it will be proper for me to continue to stay here. I have to leave. And so we decided, how do I do it? And I didn't know that the governor had decided in his succession plan that he was going to get rid of some certain people. That such people, including myself, are becoming too powerful in the state, according to his own estimation. I decided to run for Senate. Before I decided to run for Senate, Mr. Peter Sandakuku has come to my house to tell me that the governor feels that I should run for Senate. I said, how? When did that discussion start? Is there any, are there meetings going on that I didn't know about it? So, I kept quiet, and I sent a close friend of the governor to him to really find out, to confirm what the Kuku Peter said informed me. And his friend went to him, he said, yes, he's encouraging that I should run for Senate. Then something occurred to me. Something must be going uh, on. I started pursuing the ambition of Senate. Just sometime, a day to collection of funds, in the midnight, the governor summoned me, summoned the then party chairman, GIK, Senator Magnus Abe, and some other people. So what year was this? This was 2010 to 11. Okay. Okay, it was the 2011 yes. elections. Yes. So, he then decided, look, he has fought the wife of the president. They have had problems, and he doesn't want to have any further problem with that. I said, what are they going to do with my ambition? He said, I should have foreseen it. Even though you've not told me directly, but you've told people around you. He said, that is his decision. So that was, I mean, he's had problems with the wife of the president Bef before from that, as before far back as yes, 2010. Of course. Okay. So I said, okay, if that will make you comfortable. But unknown to me, that someone will have gone back to him to say, listen, but if you, allow the, if you allow the chief of staff to run for Senate, it means that by 2015, you may not have something doing. As at that time, he has not become the chairman of governor's forum. Because he became the chairman of governor's forum after the 2011 election. So, you know, I said, there's no need for me to run the Senate. I kept quiet. I allowed things to go on. And appointed me the director general of the campaign, and which I handled very well. His own campaign? Yes, his own campaign. I, I was the director general of the campaign. So I handled the campaign, and everybody was happy. Now, when he now became the governor, when he now became the chairman of the governor's forum, he now realized, according to him, the powers and the influence he may wear as chairman of the governor's forum. So the issue of going to see that was no longer there. For him or for you? For him. Okay. Before he became chairman of governance forum, his ambition first was to go to Senate. But from Ketim, since we are for the same senatorial district. Because if I go by 2011, and which will end by 2015, then tell me that I want to seek for a second tenure. And what position would he be running for? Therefore, stop him. But when he now became the chairman of governance forum, he realized that, look, with the influence I will as the chairman of governance forum, it could be beyond being a senator. So let me use that forum to organize myself politically and be relevant nationally.